Mm-hmm. We didn't touch on this right. earlier because we wanted to save it for here. It's a dilemma that managers have when they play the backup goalkeeper in the earlier rounds of these domestic cups. What do you do when you get to the climax of the competition? Pep has always been a staunch believer that you go with the guy that got you there. So I wasn't surprised that Stefan started, but it, uh, that decision uh, proved to be a mistake by Pep because Stefan had a nightmarish performance and taking it out of a Manchester City context into a U.S. national team context. Uh, that triggered a lot of reaction on Twitter. What were your feelings on that Stefan performance and the potential implications for the U.S. national team? I mean, everything that could have gone wrong for Zach Stefan went wrong in that day. Um, obviously, the mistakes, the loss, the goalkeeper on the other side where the philosophy was different and it showed uh, and ultimately the juxtaposition between the two. Uh, when it comes to Zach Steffen, what I was, I wasn't surprised at the reaction, but what I was surprised with how it seemed that for many, this was the moment, this was the, the, the seminal moment that changed their feelings or for many confirmed their feelings. I've said all along that, that I believe that Matt Turner is the number one and should be starting. We all know that when it comes to Zach Steffen, uh, he is Greg Berhalter's guy. And every coach has their players, their favorites. So that this is nothing, this is nothing new. And I'm, I'm okay with Zach Steffen playing. But Zach Steffen is, uh, for lack of a better word, he is incredibly nonchalant and casual. And, and in many ways, too comfortable in the moment. But keep in mind that Zach Steffen specifically has been brought in and targeted both by Greg Berhalter and by Pep Guardiola and Man City because of the modern goalkeeper and specifically because of the way Man City wants to play. And so in that moment, did he make a mistake? Yeah, he made a mistake and he couldn't get out of his feet. But the reason why he is doing that is because of the way he has been conditioned to play, both for club and for country, even though they are very two uh, two very different things. Now, did he mess up in that moment with his feet because he's not in a rhythm and he's not playing games? I, I, I don't necessarily think so, but it is a ready made excuse right there in the palm of your hand. In the same way that People are looking at Harry Kane and saying Spurs lost because he went to Augusta and watched golf on a private jet and then came back. Is it because he went to Augusta? No. Is it, or it could be, it it could not be. But if that excuse is there and you don't win on the weekend, there it is. It's right on a platter for you. In the same way that for, for Zach Steffen, he could have been playing every single game and still made that uh, made made that error, but he isn't playing every single game, and so therefore it's on a platter in front of uh, in front of people. All of that is when we when we shift it to the U.S. national team. I think first off, when it comes to Matt Turner, he's much better with his feet than people give him credit for, and I actually think he's improved dramatically over the last couple of years. But also keep in mind, Matt Turner's injured. Uh, he'll probably play. We, we, we hear he's training right now. Probably play through. June when he goes to Arsenal and then who knows when he's going to play regularly going forward. So he could also be in the same position as a Zach Steffen when it comes to, uh, when it comes to not playing, uh, in this, I'm actually more concerned with the other goal that he led up and look, Sadio Mane is a wonderful player and he takes it out of the air, but I think you got to save that. It's, it's not in the upper 90. It's, it's a nice shot, but I, that, for me, is more concerning because while Zach Steffen is there for his ability with his feet, that's all fine and well, but you're a goalkeeper and your first priority is save the ball. And if that's a problem, then I do think that he has a problem. Now, he's talked about going, and we've heard this before about him going on, going on loan, but where, where is he going to go? But let me just finish it here, and I know I'm, I'm going long here, but it was... It was surprising to me how many people in this moment seem to have this this aha type of moment that 
we're in big trouble if we go to the World Cup and in November, Zach St Stefan is starting simply because he made a mistake in that moment. Did, were, did you think that it was as horrible and as egregious and defining as others did? Here's what I'll say about it. I'm an admitted Euro snob. That's true. I, generally speaking, think that the U.S. national team having less MLS players and more guys <laughs> that are competing in the top leagues in Europe is a sign of progress. And if you're choosing between a guy in MLS and a guy competing in uh, one of the top leagues in Europe, generally speaking, I'm partial to the Europe guy because I do think there's something to be said for doing it in that context. But Zach Steffen has always been a bridge too far for me in that argument. And I'm old enough to remember Stu Holden getting roasted when Steffen moved to City for questioning that move and suggesting that the inactivity might hurt his form and might cost him the starting job at the U.S. national team. You were criticized for saying the same thing at the time. And people tried to fit that into some narrative about you and Stu being MLS shills. And I'm, an, I'm a Euro snob, and I'm here to tell you, no, those were legitimate concerns to raise at the time. And to me, those chickens have come home to roost now because it has had an effect on him. We cover this guy in the Bundesliga with Dusseldorf. And to me, he's a worse goalkeeper now than he was then. And, and he's a potential liability for the World Cup. And the fact that he's Greg Berhalter stated number one and we're months away from the World Cup and you don't feel great about the projected starting goalkeeper, to me, is an issue for, for a team like the U.S. If you were looking for the example that is going to justify your concern of him being a liability, it's, it's, right there, it's right there in front of you. I'm just saying that this didn't change my mind one way or the other. And here's the thing. Uh, we know Matt Turner is going to go to Arsenal now, yep. and come November, December, he might be dealing with the same issue of not having played. So if you have two goalkeepers that are inactive, to me, you default to who you think... Three is, now, because Horvath is inactive <laughs> right. too. But let, let's just focus on Turner and Seven for a second. If, if both of them are inactive, you default to who you think the better one is. And the issue is, I think you and I, and most people think it's Turner, while Greg Berhalter seems to think it's Stefan. So... But, but again... And I, I heard Ernie Stewart, the, the uh, you know, the technical director for all of U.S. soccer, and he was asked about what is success for this team. And he very, very clearly said, and I, I, I wish I could attribute it. I don't know where, where I heard it, but um, apologies for not attributing it. But he very clearly said, obviously, getting out of the group is successful, but he couched it as but how we get out of the group is important. And so there is a real belief that how this team plays is as important as whether they win or lose. And how this team plays, according to Greg Berhalter, is playing out of the back. My fear is that as we get up against better and better competition, and that will start from the first game in the World Cup, our ability to play out of the back and to have possession is going to be less and less, even at a point where it becomes, um, it becomes problematic to try to do so. And so you're going to need someone who ultimately saves the ball. And I think Matt Turner is actually better at simply saving the ball. And I, I don't, I can't believe I need to say this, but when all, when all is said and done as a goalkeeper, your first priority should, and will always be save the ball. Even if you have to kick it when, when it comes to you 50, yards away in the in the uh in the upper deck i'm okay with that as long as you're saving the ball you like that clip well my state of the union podcast drops every week subscribe now on apple podcasts spotify or wherever you get your podcasts